Growing up in a Marine Puri HDB estate with a school teacher mother and sales manager father, Lawrence Wong went to neighborhood schools. This, much more typical upbringing of the Deputy Prime Minister, was brought up in an interview with The Economist on Monday, May 6. The 51 year old, who will become Singapore's fourth Prime Minister on May 15, said, My background is what it is. If it is helpful that it makes it more relatable to Singaporeans. So much the better. Wong attended Haight Boys Primary School, Tanjong Katong Secondary Technical School and Victoria Junior College. He then headed to the United States for further studies on a government scholarship. He had previously explained why he chose Tanjong Katong after his primary school leaving examination instead of the elite schools that many other government scholars go to. Everyone I knew from hate boys, family and friends chose Tanjong Katong, so I didn't have any other school in mind. I just made the same choice, he said, during a Mediacorp program in 2022, adding that the school was also closer to home. But regardless of background, Wong told The Economist that Singaporeans are discerning and wise voters. At the end of the day, Singaporeans will expect me to deliver on the things that they care about, delivering a better life, delivering better standards of living for themselves and their children. He added. And if he and his team come up short and a better team arises, then Singaporeans will choose accordingly. When asked if he has that iron in him, a phrase uttered by founding Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew in 1980 to describe the type of fortitude needed to govern Singapore, Wong said, I believe, when push comes to shove and the time comes to take hard decisions. I would do so, so long as the decision is in the interest of Singapore and Singaporeans. Does he see himself being more abrasive with the public, then? I am who I am. I listen carefully to everyone's views. Wong replied. I want to get people's insights and perspectives, eventually thinking about what makes for the best decisions and outcomes for Singapore. Wong, who is also finance minister, cited the goods and services tax hike and the COVID-19 pandemic when social gathering restrictions were imposed as decisions that may not be the most popular but are the right ones to take. And when these decisions arise, Singaporeans can be assured that I will be able to take the decisions in the best interests of Singapore and Singaporeans and explain to them why these difficult decisions are necessary. He added. Would Prime Minister Lee Shin Long becoming senior minister after he steps down prevent the fourth generation leaders from finding their voice? Wong said this valuable, long-standing Singapore tradition has never prevented a new prime minister from setting the tone of leadership and making his own decisions. The network's PM Lee has internationally will be very valuable and I will use him accordingly, in the best possible way, because for me, as leader, I will have to find ways to harness the collective energies of all of my team and also every Singaporean. He added.